Oh my glasses are steaming up. <laughs> I love Galaxy Hot Chocolate. Like my little foxy mug? It's so cute. It's my Patronus. Okay, let's get on with this. Hey guys, and today I have a Halloween q and I have been posting a kind of like pre-poster for this, so you guys have sent me in your questions and I am now going to answer them. We haven't done a Halloween Q&A on this channel as far as I'm aware. We did a Christmas one, but I thought, you know what, I need to, I need to do a Halloween one because I've been really getting into it this year. I'm not really one to celebrate Halloween, but I do have a lot of friends who love Halloween and that's kind of influenced me and inspired me to do this video. Okay, so the first one is from my lovely friend Bethan. She says, what's your favourite scary movie? Favourite scary movie? Okay, so I, if anyone knows me, I absolutely love horror films. Absolutely love them. Favourite scary movie though? What would I watch? Mm, I think it would have to go back to like the Scream series. I love Scream and I especially love how, like the old style of it, I love how they made the films and I love the actors in it also. I'm trying to think, like really scary films? I would also probably say The Ring, I absolutely love The Ring, um, and and The Grudge, oh I love The Grudge series, not so sure about number one, but number two I think, and number three I really really love, and I just think that, I don't know, just anything that makes me like, it's creepy, I love it, <laughs> maybe I'm like sadistic in that way, but I absolutely love creepy films, and gory films, I mean you've got Saw, and I love the Saw series, and they're also bringing out a new Ring film, it's going to be called Rings, and then you've also got a new Saw film, which is going to be called like Saw Legend or something. I have no idea. The next question is from Amna What is your favourite thing about Halloween? I think my favourite thing about Halloween is not the pumpkins. I love carving pumpkins, but I don't like the smell of them. But that's not my favourite thing. My favourite thing would have to be all the trick or treaters that come to our doors. Um, even though the past three or four years, me, my sister and my best friend have gone out trick-or-treating ourselves because we never used to do it as kids. I know that probably sounds a bit strange, but we never did it as kids. We always stayed in and waited for the um, trick-or-treaters to come to us. But yeah, as, as like a 20, like a 20, a 21 and a 22 year old, I've been going out trick-or-treating like they do in America, but in England. We don't really celebrate Halloween that much, the older kind of generation over here in England. It's just kind of like you either go out for a party or like a night out and celebrate Halloween. But I was like, you know what, if the kids can do it here in England, I'm going to do it. And to be fair, I look like a kid anyway. So yeah, what is your favourite thing to do about Halloween? I would say trick or treating or opening the doors to trick or treaters. I just think it's really nice to look at all the costumes that people have made and the creations they've come up with. I think it's really incredible. Next we have Ruben Ashwell. His question is, what's the scariest horror story you've ever read? Scary horror story? I don't think I've really read a horror story. Most of mine are just kind of like dystopian because that's like my favourite or contemporary. have no idea. I don't think I've read any scary stories. I think the closest to scary stories would have to be like the Marked series and that's not really scary, it's just about vampires. Um, but if you have any scary stories Ruben, I would love to know because I don't, I don't, I haven't really read any. I haven't really looked down the horror kind of genre of things. Maybe I should do that. I will probably go do that. We have a question from my good friend Scarlett. She says, what is your favourite thing to do for Halloween? She's put a wink face next to her question and I think what she's kind of um, insinuating or suggesting is the fact that we go to, so me, Scarlett and Paige and Misha, go to Scarefest um, every year. It's been, it's kind of a tradition, though we're not going to go this year I'm afraid. Like it's really sad that we're not going to go, I'm going to miss it, but hopefully we can go next year. I think we're just all really busy and we just haven't got around to planning it and yeah it's a bit late now. But I think Scarefest is one of the best things I love about Halloween and what I love to do for Halloween. Not only do you get to go on the big roller coasters and dress up creepy and you know really come up with these creative ideas to just walk around the park 
and see so many other people doing exactly the same thing is it's so nice. It's like going to Disneyland and dressing up as Disney characters. I just think the atmosphere on Halloween at Scarefest is it's incredible and I love the scare mazes. Oh my gosh, I love the scare mazes. I think the first year I went, um, there was five, there was like three that you had to pay for and two free and I think that was the best Scarefest experience we've ever had. I really want to go next year, I really do. This year I have gone to the Twin Lakes Scare Fest, Extreme Scare Maze Experience, I think, or Extreme Scare Event, <laughs> something like that. And basically they have six whole scare mazes. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. I wish I would have I wish I vlogged it, but I just really needed a day off of just no phones, no no cameras, just no videoing and nothing. But it was so nice just to spend that quality time with my cousin for her birthday, because it was for her birthday, and with a couple of her friends, which by the way, they are adorable. <laughs> I love her friends. They're so nice, they're so lovely. Scariest Halloween film. Okay, that's like your favorite one, but then again, I don't really have a scariest Halloween film. That's from Lee. The one that scares me. What film scares me? I think like it doesn't really well it doesn't scare me like scare scare me but I love how it makes me feel like it's all, almost on the edge of feeling scared I guess but that would have to be the um, Chainsaw Massacre or even um, The Conjuring I love those films I really really love them and I will watch them even though I know what happens in the end but they were so good and I just love the I love the conjuring. It, I just love things that are so paranormal as well. I, I don't know. But I don't know. I don't think they scare me like so much that I am gonna be having nightmares. I don't really have nightmares about scary stuff actually. Um, but I'm gonna have to say those because I just I don't I'm not I don't get scared <laughs> that often with films, I don't know. Then we have a question by Lisa, and this is, what is the best treat you've got whilst trick or treating? That is a good one. I think the best treat I've got whilst trick or treating is when, you know when you go at the end of your trick or treating and they're trying to just get rid of all the candy, or some people won't have any candy, they'll be like, oh sorry, we've run out. But there's those few houses which have they're just like, we need to give this out now, we're going to bed. <laughs> so they just give you like the whole bowl or something like that. I think that is one thing I love about trick or treating. Or when they give you money. Like me, my best friend and my sister went, went this once and this lady just was like, was like, oh, I don't have any candy. Here's a pound each. I know it's a pound, but that pound can buy you a whole bag of sweets <laughs> if you wanted that much sweets. But yeah, no, I think that's really generous of people to do that but I'd probably feel a little bad if people gave me money. But yeah, when they give me the whole bowl at the end of trick or treating, that's a bonus. Next question is, how do you celebrate Halloween? Okay, so I kind of pretty much covered that with the whole of these questions. So like watching a scary movie, having a hot chocolate, um, getting all cozy in bed, going out, or going out trick or treating, waiting for the trick or treaters to come to our door, go watch a horror film at the cinema, I don't know, oh yeah, I'll go into Scarefest or Twin Lakes Scare event. I think, I think all of that is pretty much how I celebrate Halloween. I never used to as much as I do now as an adult. So I guess that's it. I guess this year though, because we never really celebrated Halloween on our channel last year. This year we've done the Halloween challenge video and that was so fun. I love the fact that my best friend actually agreed to do that video because I wasn't sure if she was going to because it was going to be so messy and it ended up so messy. We both had to have showers after that video. Next question is by Aaliyah, my newly closest friend, my makeup buddy. I'm going to call you my makeup buddy because we pretty much talk about makeup all the time. So the question is, what was your favourite costume when trick or treating when you were younger? Okay, so as I've previously said, I never really went trick or treating when I was younger, but in my older stages, actually we did go trick or treating for like a church event, or we dressed up for a church event, and my poster's falling down, oh dear. But I used to dress up as a witch 
when I was young, much younger. Like I had multicolored, like multicolored wig hair. The idea of me dyeing my hair like red and orange probably derived from that wig. But um, yeah, and I painted my face green. But from like my older self now, I've dressed up as dead Ariel, like the Little Mermaid, live Ariel, <laughs> and Anna from Frozen. And I have all those costumes still. I would still happily go out and do that again. It's just that we're, I don't think we're going to do it this year. We're going to stay in and watch a movie and have hot chocolate and wait for kids to come and knock on our doors as we used to. I think my favourite out of all of those would have to be... I think my dead Ariel because I really went creative on that. And I did go to Scarefest as kind of like a, a witchy zombie kind of thing. I had like purple eye makeup and like a spider on my face. But I think, no, I think my dead Ariel, I really liked doing that one. But yeah, let me know in the comments what your favourite costumes were as a kid because I would really love to know. Or as an adult, I would really love to know. I would even like to see your photos if that's even possible. Just hashtag crazykins and I will check those out. The next question I've just literally just received right now and it's from my dad. <laughs> my dad says, would you rather be killed by a vampire or a zombie? Well, what would I rather be killed by, a vampire or a zombie? I think I'd rather be killed by a vampire. Mainly because I could turn into a vampire, which could either be a plus or not so much a plus. Or, like, snap my neck and then drain my blood. It wouldn't be, like, my own flesh being torn off me if that makes sense i think the zombies if, if it's anything like a walking dead zombie i think i would would not like that just being ripped apart and having all your guts just no i just think vampire would be the better option i can't believe i'm talking about my own death thanks dad <laughs> but yeah i think i think vampires definitely over zombies let me know what you think guys let me know if you would go with the vampire or a zombie which you would rather be killed by. If you do have any questions, more Halloween related questions, put them in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and comment below. I love you guys and I'll see you again soon. Happy Halloween! Bye!